Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you around how to use the timeline panel in Adobe Premiere Pro. So in the previous video, we took a look at organizing our footage in the project media bin, and we saw that when we drag clips onto our timeline, it will create a new sequence for us to begin working with. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the timeline panel, basically you have this blue timeline here, and you can move it around, you can press play, or you can press the space bar as a shortcut for play and stop. As you add clips onto your sequence in the timeline, you'll notice that it just builds out from left to right, and you can zoom out or in to take a look at your entire project so far, and you can basically just keep going as far as you need. The shortcuts for that are minus and plus on the keyboard if you want to zoom in to where your playhead is at. So the timeline is basically separated into audio and video tracks. And you can take a look at this line here in the middle that separates the two. So whenever you add a clip onto your timeline, you'll notice that the audio and the video live on two separate halves. And with Premiere Pro, you have the ability to work in multiple layers. So you can drag clips on top of each other to blend and create different unique effects if you need. And you can stack and composite videos with multiple layers reaching upwards. You'll notice we begin with V1, V2, V3, that's just video track one, two, and three. And we have some basic tools here, like the eyeball toggles visibility of this track. You'll notice here in the top left corner, we have our current playhead position time. So 11 seconds and 14 frames, or you could move left and right. You can also use the shortcut keyboards, right arrow and left arrow to move one frame at a time. And you also see in the top left corner, we have the name of our sequence that's open. So it's kind of just in one tab. If you ever happen to accidentally close this sequence and you don't know where to find it again, you can always go to your project media bin and find that sequence and just double click it and it will open a tab in the timeline panel. And you can have multiple sequences and tabs open to work in and out between. So you see here, if I was working on like a credit screen and I wanted my whole separate sequence timeline for that, I can have that and create it by going to File, New Sequence, and I can switch back and forth between different sequences. And you can even open multiple sequence timelines on top of each other for unique editing workflows between multiple sequences. You'll notice if I just keep dragging clips on top of each other, we are not limited to just three tracks. It will just keep creating tracks. And if I ever don't need those or I wanted to delete or remove some, I can always right click and delete or add tracks like so. Once you're familiar with the timeline, you can quickly start using shortcuts like the up and down arrow key to jump between cut points and shortcuts like V and C to quickly swap between your different tools that you have on the left hand side. And you can really get into an efficient workflow. In the next video of this series, I'm going to show you some actual editing tips and basics for arranging your videos together. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.